That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eddie Brennan, she was really cool, huh? Fantastic. Yeah. Very yeah. funny. Yeah. I, the music was I love the last cool. song. That song was funny. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of that song? What was the name of it? Ballad, Ballad of Montgomery, Montgomery Scott. Scott. Okay. That was for you, Frankie. For Frankie Russo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So tell us, Julie, what do you think? Yeah, I your, think it's awesome. What's the astrology <laughs> thing going on? What well, Liz, well, I have a story about Liz at astrology. So Liz went to school in um, Colorado, Colorado College, and um, she would drive across the country and call me up in the middle of the night and ask me about astrology. Like her, <laughs> her astrology with like other people. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I would do long distance traveling. Nice. So you, would you do like couple, couple so astrology? Did you get freaky at all? Can like, you do sex astrology? Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly Can you what do I'm my petty. sex astrology? Can you exactly. Please do Frankie's first because we, <laughs> we need to figure this man out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Um, I, I'm a very astute the stars student dictate. of the stars, and I will help, how, help you. How so. sexy do we get, honey? Oh. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, usually the planets that determine that are like Mars and Venus. Oh, interesting. So, oh, okay. um, depends on where those uh, like lie in your chart and how prominent they are. So, Liz... <laughs> Okay, Liz. Liz <laughs> are is, you okay? Well, oh, sorry, I that was a laugh. Or okay, uh, okay. <laughs> so Liz is a Leo. She was born on um, August the sixth. So she's uh, my mom's a Leo. That's a yes, thing. Leo. I, I knew I liked them. They're, they're known for being extremely gregarious. And um, Liz, her son is in uh, the first house. So the first house is if you look on the eastern horizon when you're when at the exact moment you're born the the constellation that's there that's what's your your rising sign your rising sign your first house and then yeah so that's your first house so people with the sun in the first house mm -hmm. love to make their mark on the world like that's what their goal is we're like, gonna help I her do will. that we're yeah help her do that i mean yeah. she does that naturally absolutely so other things that are in line with her sun include the moon which makes her personally popular she's very intelligent mercury um, mars um she's very uh, she's very competitive and she uh, and uranus is also in line with sun so she's an individual that loves to question tradition like naturally she's out there just by being herself right so but also she's got it's square jupiter so sometimes she overdoes things a little bit and she uh, <laughs> <laughs> people have Why to help her out <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. And then Moon and Aries. <laughs> moon and Aries is a very spontaneous sign. They love to, they get an idea and they'll go, they'll do it right then. Um, they also, you know, so things sometimes go awry with this, <laughs> with this sign. Um, and that's okay. It's, um, it's in the 10th house. So she has this, this need, this like need for popularity. She wants to be popular. It's, it's, um, it's in material action. So what, honey? That's in you. Yeah. Yes, you're, you're very popular, girl. You're a popular chick. Yeah. Like, that's not me. What she are you looking at? Out of the ordinary life. She's very expressive, and she knows exactly what she wants. I'm telling so, you. Mm -hmm. um, Mercury, which is the um, the planet that governs communication, is in her second house, which governs money. So this girl has plenty of ideas on how to make it rich. Nice. <laughs> Please share so with many. the class. <laughs> Please share with the class here. We Absolutely. <laughs> um, Positively. She also has the the, the golden Mercury um, Uranus combining, which binds her intelligence with genius. So she is this amazing um, writer. Right? Yeah. So we heard this. Our song songs are really cool. Songs I are really cool. Bang, bang. Really I love cool. them. They're off the wall like me. <laughs> They're off the wall like Frankie Russo. Nobody's off the wall like Frankie <laughs> Russo. Yeah. No. yeah. That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> so we'll just go really fast. That's a bit of a stretch. So <laughs> Venus, the way you love, we were talking you were talking about like love. Um love is her it's in love. cancer for her. So mm. it, she likes she's very sensitive in love. Oh, I like, that. like Frankie Russo. I know. Hey, hey, Frankie Russo, and, no, I'm not light and nice like that. I, I'm romantic, <laughs> but I don't, don't get don't get carried away now. Oh, yeah. Right. All right. So she's she's very <laughs> sensitive in love, and and she she wants to help. She wants hey, to help other people. Very cool. Like the underprivileged kids. Dude. Yeah, yeah. The, the underprivileged kids whose credit cards. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the rumor mill. That's starting. That's not what it was at all. She was like. I didn't call it for the charity. <laughs> she was like, you know, so, raising money for kids who need help in other countries. So that's her st very cool. story. Very cool. You knew I like this chick. Yeah, I knew she's got a good heart. Absolutely. Um, 
Mars is in Leo, which is a natural leader. They're very dynamic. They're very bold. They're very exciting people. And um, Jupiter is in Cancer. And she, so she makes a really good marriage with a, a person who would help her out. Nice. <laughs> what are we all? I don't know. Know. Daddy, is that I what you're don't saying? Know. I don't know. Like, a, like someone who would give her advice, like really be there for oh, her. Advice. <laughs> I want some advice. With, with benefits, of course. <laughs> with, with yes, tons of different kinds of oh, benefits, yes. I'd say. Um, Saturn is in her, her fifth house, which is all about creative expression. So she's got, she's very, she's actually very focused. And she likes to be with older people. So she likes to. Oh. Again, oh. with the, the, the opposite advice. Of advice. Yes. <laughs> Like, with benefits. <laughs> well, yeah, the opposite. She wants of a man. sponsor. Yeah. Uranus is like you. You like to cuddle and hold oh, hands, Kitty. Cuddle and holding hands. We <laughs> talked about this. Yeah. It's, and then she likes to slap them. She likes to slap them too. Oh, well, we got to save that we'll for next that week because that's a whole other we'll story. Get that next All right. Week. <laughs> yes, we're almost done. So it's um. So Uranus and Sagittarius. She's independent in love. And it's it's in conjunction with the Midhaven. So in the middle of the chart, it's, it governs like action in the world. So Uranus, this far out planet, right. is in line with the the middle, right. the middle, which means she needs to have a career that has absolutely no routine in order to be satisfied. Like she has to do her own thing and be her own person. <laughs> How about Sagi? Does Sagi come in at all? Or oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Uranus and Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, there you go. Say Sagittarius. Yeah, you, you know, you know what, <laughs> Julie? Next week, sure. you should do Frankie no, Frankie's no. chart, and then we can discuss. No, and, uh, the, the, the I think that would be, an, that would be a very appropriate fun. Yes, yes. So, so listen, Julie. Oh, yeah. So oh, that was on that blog, like, yeah. Nancy Sinatra. Elizabeth? So, wh- wh- like, wh- where would you say, like, where is she right now? Is she going to be a huge star, or is she going to be... I say Liz. I know, I mean, I know Liz. Right, right, right. What is this, the chart saying? I mean, she says that she's a very dynamic, bold, out-of-the-ordinary individual. So she's That's gonna what you need to make it. Well, she's going to be doing something totally... Out there, like when she makes it, she'll make it on her own terms. Nice, like, and in that she creates her own path. That's very, that's very Elizabeth. That's the Elizabeth mm-hmm. I know, and she needs to, you know, watch out for people who, um, who aren't so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she, so she needs a discerning eye around her to be like, oh, this person, we should work with this person. This would be watch out for so. Frankie. She needs a. <laughs> She needs good mentors, this mm-hmm. one. But she, oh, God, Elizabeth is such a dynamic and bubbly person. It's outrageous. Sounds lovely. Thank you so much, You're Julie, welcome. for that beautiful uh, astrological like little bow. Glow. And the astrological, bow. I'm trying to invent the new word. Astrological report. Astrological <laughs> report. report. Yes. A very fun. Very fun. And, and, my friend, what about uh, your boat? <laughs> what about your boat? Yes. Excellent. So, so we're, we're winding down, yeah. Kitty. I know you want to spit. I, 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 hey. I have to say yeah, yeah, yeah. that um, I'm performing at Eastville Comedy Club oh, this okay. Tuesday at nice. 9 p.m. East It'll be a great uh, stand up oh. show. Where? Where it's on this? East 4th between 2nd and 3rd. Frankie Russo may show up just to break your chops. Yeah, yeah. 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 And be also, ready. also be check ready. out um, my sketch group, White Cotton Panties. We oh, have yeah. our, our new when video out. It's called Hello Dildo, and it's on. It's on YouTube uh, and quite Facebook. funny. I watched it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What are, they, what are they coming in here with their white cotton panties? That's what I want. To I see. know. Well, we're we're working on like they're working hard and getting some more videos out. And so once we do that, they'll all be here and we'll chat about them. Wow. We're yeah, no fun this and is Frankie Russo, Rock Chicks Live. <laughs> Julie Hannes, thank you. Gloria, Kitty Cat, Lindsay, and Eddie Brennan. Frankie Russo. We're out of here. I'll see you in, in the, the future. future. Bye.